All right, there are a few ways to start a report with WebWriter. The first is the best practice, and that's to start by scheduling an appointment from the appointments tool on your inspector dashboard. This button is just a quick link to the appointment form on your inspector dashboard. Fill out the required fields. This is how you link agreements and invoices. It gives you control to lock the report until agreements are signed and invoices are paid. When you get to the services and agreements section, if you've not added those yet, that's okay. You can still schedule an appointment and sync to WebWriter so you can start testing things out right away. So click here to add your client's information, name and email. Click here if you wanna add a real estate agent. On the next page, if you get a warning that you're missing agreements, don't worry about it. Just click schedule with warnings. For me, I did add an agreement, so I would click Create Agreement on this page. On the next screen, you'll see email templates for everybody on the appointment. Just go down to the bottom and click Send Emails. Now your appointment is on the calendar. Just click on it and click the plus sign to sync the data, taking you to the report in the WebWriter. Your report is open, you can start inspecting, filling out info, or exploring the tool. When it's time to publish and share the report, your email addresses are already linked and ready to go. If you're using the mobile app, you'll just click Sync to Cloud to add that inspection to your device. All right, so the other way to start a report with WebWriter is to click Add Inspection. It's quick and a nice way to start when just testing things out. But if you're doing a real paid inspection, it's not best practice since it can't be linked to an agreement or an invoice. So you'll fill out the fields, all the way at the bottom, you'll click Save, and then you'll just click on the inspection to begin. One thing to note, after you publish the final report to the dashboard, you'll go to the dashboard and need to add your clients and their email addresses so that you're able to share the report with them.